Reports tonight developing news out of the capital city where a Thurber's Avenue school was forced to go into lockdown today after two subjects entered the school and pistol whipped a student. And tonight we're learning more about what police believed happened and the ongoing search for the suspects. I would assume reporter Steph Machado is in our newsroom now with the developing details. Steph. Mike and Shannon, police have not yet apprehended the two suspects who are accused of going into the school and assaulting a student while attempting to rob him. Juanita Sanchez High School briefly placed on lockdown after police say two suspects entered the school with a weapon and a student was pistol whipped. A student inside the school allegedly allowed um, two people from the outside into the building and one of our students was assaulted. Superintendent Chris Marr says fortunately the student is okay. He says the door was locked, but the suspects were let in from the inside by a 14-year-old student, according to the police report. That report says the 18-year-old student who was assaulted was drinking from the bubbler in the hallway when the suspects ran by. The report says, quote, the subject with the red vest hit the victim with a black handgun in the head while demanding him to run his pockets. I heard some chatter in the hallway. They were talking about some kid getting uh, hit upside the head with a pistol. High school senior Lamar Trushan Lungelo describing how the story of the assault spread. The school quickly placed on lockdown. They handled it pretty well. They had everybody go into uh, lockdown mode. So we were all hidden inside of a corner of each room and away from the doors and the windows. Superintendent Marr is urging students and employees never to let outsiders into the school. We have safe buildings, but only as safe as, safe as we keep them. If we let intruders into our buildings, then we are uh, making our schools unsafe, and the safety and security of our schools is paramount. And police are still investigating. Those two suspects are not yet in custody, but we're told they're expected to be charged with assault and attempted robbery. The 14-year-old who allegedly let them into the school was taken in for questioning. Coming up new at 6, how a city councilman is proposing to increase security in Providence schools. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim. Well, the search continues tonight for two intruders whom police say attacked a student with a gun inside of Providence High School this morning. The incident briefly put the Juanita Sanchez School on lockdown. I would assume supporter Steph Machado joins us now live in studio with the new details. Steph. Mike and Shannon, the superintendent says all the doors to the school were locked, but a student let two suspects in from the inside. They are accused of pistol whipping another student. A gun briefly making its way into Juanita Sanchez High School after Providence police say a 14 year old student let two suspects in through a side door. One of the suspects allegedly pistol whipping another student who was drinking from a bubbler in the hallway and demanding he empty his pockets. The student is okay and the school was briefly placed on lockdown until police confirmed the suspects had fled. It's very worrisome. Superintendent Chris Marr says the doors to the school were locked, but if students let intruders in, it makes the school unsafe. We're actually going to send home a message to all parents today to reinforce the notion of it is important that students do not let in outsiders. We have secure buildings, but they're only as secure as we keep them. The school department says video of the suspects was captured on a surveillance camera, but the actual assault was not. City Councilman John Igliosi has been pushing for months to enhance cameras in schools and add more, both inside the buildings and at all entrances. Superintendent Marr says he's looking into it. We are interested in expanding um, cameras in the building, especially if it leads to improved safety and security. And I spoke to City Councilman Igliosi today. He reacted to today's news, telling me this is yet another reason for his security camera proposal. Police have not yet apprehended the two suspects. We're told they're expected to face charges of assault and attempted robbery. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.